going to discuss the concept of plotting a decimal number on a number line using successive magnification. Suppose I have to plot a number 3.765 on a number line using uh, successive magnification. First, I will draw a number line. Let us suppose this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. Now we know that 3.765 is between 3 and 4. It is greater than 3 but it is less than 4. So that on magnification the number will be between 3 and 4. So I will magnify it to this point and this to this side. I will again draw a number line between these two points. Let us suppose this is 3, this is 3.1, this is 3.2, this is 3.3, this is 3.4. 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3 3.9 and 4. That means I have magnified the area between 3 and 4 and I have plotted 10, I have drawn 10 divisions representing each decimal location that is 3, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then 4. Now I know that we have a number that is 3.76. Now 3.76 will lie between 3.7 and 3.8. So I will magnify these. Now, I have, now that I have divided this 3 and 4 between 10 divisions. So the number 3.765 it is greater than 3.7 and it is less than 3.8. So this number lies between 3.7 and 3.8. Now I will magnify the area between 3.7 and 3.8. I will, when I draw a number line, this will be 3.7 and this will be 3.8. I will have 10 divisions, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So this will be 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3 3.78, this will be 3.79 and this will be 3.8. Now as I have divided 3.7 into and 3.8 into 10 divisions. So if I have the number 3.765. So this number will be somewhere between 3.76. That means this number is greater than 3.76. But this number is less than 3.77. So this is the area in which the number will lie. Now I will magnify this area. Again I will draw a number line. This will be 3.76 and this point will be 3.77. Again I will divide it into 10 divisions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So this point will be 3.761. This will represent 3.762, 3.763. This will be 3 3.764, 3.765, 3.766, 3.767, 3.768 and this will be 3.769. So this will be 3.77. Now the number, the number to be plotted is 3.765. So I get this number on the number line. So this is the position where 3.76 will be plotted. So this is how we perform, we plot a decimal number on a number line using successive magnifications. That is, successive magnification means I am magnifying the area in which this number will lie. Because 3.765 is greater than 3 but less than 4. So in the number line it was somewhere between 3 and 4. I, brought, uh, I have magnified this area as 3. 3 is here and the 4 has been put here. Now I have divided the number line into 10 divisions because there are 10 divisions between 3.3 and between 3 and 4. That means 3.1, 2, 3, 4 and I have plotted 3.9 and then 4. Now the number is 3.765 so it lies between 3.7 and 3.8 because the number is greater than 3.7 but it is less than 3.8. So I have magnified this area in the same way I did earlier. This is 3.7 and this is 3.8. I have divided it into 10 divisions and I have plotted all the, all the points on this. This is 3.71, 3.72 and so on. 
So I can found that 3.76 is greater than 3.76, but it is less than 3.77. So it must be lying somewhere between these two points. I have magnified this point. This is 3.76 and this is 3.77. Again, on the number line, I have made 10 divisions and I have plotted all the points on it. That means 3.76, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, so on. So now I have found that 3.76 lies on the number line. So this is the point that we were supposed to plot and this is how we perform successive magnification.